Our journey to Scotland started in London. We woke up bright and early at 4 a.m. to catch the 5.30 train, leaving from Euston all the way to Waverley. The train ride itself was a little over five hours long since there were some stops for other stations along the way. We kept ourselves occupied with naps, music, snacks, and I myself reading and looking out the window at all the beautiful landscape. I just couldn't get over how many sheep there were in Scotland. And if you are looking for a good book recommendation, I was reading How to Stop Time by Matt Haig and it felt like the perfect book for the setting. finally made it and we could not stop laughing at how many stairs there were in this city. We saw a sign on a storefront that said Edinburgh is a city built on books but we begged to differ. It was definitely built on a steep hill with loads of steps. It wasn't so bad but it made the walk to our hotel that much harder with all of our luggage and carry-on bags. And because we arrived too early for check-in, we actually just had our hotel nanny our luggage while we explored Old Town Edinburgh. Our first stop was lunch. We hadn't eaten all afternoon, so we stopped by one of the first taverns we saw called the Doric, right across from the train station. <laughs> they have folk music. <laughs> I know usually there's lemons, but I didn't know there were oranges. The first impressions. Very small. Yeah. Yeah. People out here are definitely a lot nicer than they are in London. Oh, go ahead. Like they're just more welcoming. Yes. yes. Well, and even when we were walking down the steps, they were like, oh, my mom, like, be careful. Or I feel like in London they would have been like, move. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get to work. She opening the map. She's going for it. She said, let me take a look. Do we want to try Edinburgh Castle? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Do her again. Give me another round. So I got, well, we both got the same thing. Got a burger and chips. Oh my god, so good. Is it good? It's really weird that I'm vlogging from the bathroom right now, but I just have to share that we were chit-chatting with the owner of this pub. He moved here from Dublin. Dublin, Ireland, and he's been here for the last 22 years. And this is the first pub in Scotland to first serve food, hot, hot. hot food, in a pub. Our next stop was Edinburgh Castle, which we found out you do need to purchase your tickets online. They did not have a physical booth, and we also did the audio guided tour, which we highly recommend. Charles, Bonnie Prince Charlie. And he's like the freaking weirdo. He's the weird one. <laughs> His painting was in the room. I took a photo of it because I was like, it's Bonnie Prince Charlie. Let's oh, no. push play. Yeah, that's all I like. I like that when she died, like, all of us are very happy that I could buy one of the students in the room.
So enough of that. We could have gone on forever with that conversation. After our castle tour, we strolled through the infamous Victoria Street and did some shopping for some whiskey and Bethany's favorite Cadbury chocolates. Also in that area, there's there's like 50, 60 in that one little bit. It does, there's more famous names like Glen Fiddick's made there and McCallum's made there, but there's loads of minor names and Tamley Villain's probably one of the less known ones. Okay. Uh, Get in your whiskey. <laughs> just got back, well we just checked in to the hotel room. We are exhausted, we've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning so right now all we want to do is rest because we walked around all day we have to be up bright and early tomorrow for our highlands tour If you are debating touring the Scottish Highlands, this is your sign. Do it. You won't regret it. It's so magical. We did a 12-day tour, and although I felt we could have spent several days there, we did have many stops along the way where we could get coffee, food, and take a walking break. Our specific tour included viewing Glencoe, Ben Nevis, the Caribou Mountains, the Loch Ness, and Inverness.